I'm Judd Mao. I'm a urologist, a urologic oncologist at Duke University Medical Center in Durham. And our research and our Duke Prostate Center is a multidisciplinary program. And uh, I, my main area is prostate cancer. And I would say about 90% of the patients that I see are localized disease patients. And, um, you know, I do about 125 radical prostatectomies per year. And that's been kind of my consistent pattern over the last 15 years at Duke. Over the last, uh, I guess, three or four years, we've been very fortunate to be able to incorporate molecular markers into our practice. Uh, we use molecular markers in the biopsy setting. We use uh, certain blood and urine markers for the diagnosis of prostate cancer. And we've been using the Decipher post-radical prostatectomy test, I think now for the last three or four years. One of the particular areas that, that I'm interested in is the situation in the modern era of some of the men who have a undetectable PSA after surgery, but then the PSA goes up just a little bit. And Mayo Clinic and other institutions have written about that, and we believe that is due to benign tissue or benign glands or benign residual prostate that's left behind in some cases due to the way we now do a more strategic radical prostatectomy with nerve sparing and saving the bladder neck. Anyway, the danger is that some physicians overreact to that PSA. Even though it's only, say, 0.2 or even 0.1, they may have the tendency to want to pull the trigger for salvage radiation. And in some cases, that may be unnecessary because those patients actually don't have a recurrence. to try to, if you will, talk some of the people off the edge of the cliff, we'll use Decipher to calm the situation down, meaning try to, and the patient as well, who's nervous that his PSA is not zero, it's say 0.1 or 0.2 or 0.3, uh, many times I'll incorporate Decipher. Hopefully most of those cases show low risk on Decipher and then I can better reassure the patient and reassure the radiation oncologist that we're going to hold tight, that we don't believe this is a PSA recurrence or a biochemical recurrence. We can then more carefully categorize that as a benign PSA, minor PSA rise. Just to close on this idea of this smolder, what I call the smoldering PSA, the guy who's had a radical prostatectomy and who has just a little bit of PSA in his system, uh, we are finding, and I, what I want to do is really explore Decipher more in that specific group of patients to see if I can uh, help help you know doctors in the community not overreact to those some of those low-level PSAs that may not actually be a cancer recurrence.